Hey guys, so I'm at my house right now. I'm in the outdoor shower. Over the winter, we had water in the plumbing outside and it froze because we're in New England and it blew out one of the angles in the copper piping. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly use shark bite to do this on your own. It's not too expensive, it's pretty easy. Here's the scene of the accident. And as you can tell, this is not the first time, okay? Uh, and also not the first time. It seems like every year we uh, end up doing this by mistake. Uh, this is a slip joint, so that's a pretty cool thing. I can make a video on that if you ever need to know how to use a slip um, shark bite connection. But for this, all I'm going to do is cut out the plumbing right here because this is where it blew out. I'm going to cut this plumbing out and I'm going to connect this piece across it and that's it. So you're not going to need much to get this done. You're going to need some emery paper or plumber's abrasive sand cloth. You'll need a shark bite quarter inch adapter uh, that helps you take the shark bite off if you need to. Pipe cutters, uh, if you've got room. If not, you need to use the hacksaw. You'll need a pipe connection, uh, shark bite connection. This is a flex tube, quarter inch on both ends, and you'll probably need a beer. So first things first, make sure the water's off. All right, now you've got your pipe cutter, right? So this is a nifty little thing you can use it attaches to the pipe and if you've got room to spin it all the way around you just tighten this down slowly and it'll cut all the way through I can already tell you right now I'm not gonna have room to use this so I'm gonna have to use the hacksaw same thing here I'm gonna run into I'm gonna run into the wall if I try to rotate around this so I'm gonna have to use the hacksaw if you've never used a hacksaw just slow and steady it cuts through copper no problem just try to keep your line even as possible level I should say or perpendicular to the flow of the water and you just run it softly across get in a groove and just work away like butter don't push too hard let the saw do the work so with a hacksaw get a groove going stay level and then again just apply pressure go back and forth it'll cut through pretty quickly I'm not sure if this is too close to this mini split condenser, condenser line, uh, but we'll find out. And if I have to, I'll cut back more. I always cut back more later. Don't cut back too much at the start. This could be tricky down here. I think I'm going to be able to do it without having too much trouble, but there's not a lot of room. So uh, what I might have to do is flip the blade around and go from the other side and come and pull towards myself. That might be the way to do this one. So we'll find out. So. Decent cut, pretty level. Uh, that took about 30 seconds to get through. Um, I already know I'm gonna need to probably flip this around. I'm gonna get it started at least and see, but I think this is definitely gonna have to go from the other side. I'm gonna probably take the pipe out of that clamp, give myself a little more room and uh, see how it goes. Now, while I was flipping the hacksaw blade around, and as you can see now the hacksaw blade is coming towards me uh, so I could pull towards me. I was thinking as I was uh, switching the blade that actually this might just be long enough to span this um, from this point across the mini split condensate line to that point uh, so I'm gonna actually just try to do that preserve this piece in uh, the moment and then um, put this in and if it works it works if it doesn't I still have this other piece that I can connect to now to take shark bite off basically what you do is you clip this shark bite piece on to the plumbing and you can see that little tab that's there there's little teeth on the inside and when you put even pressure on this from going in this direction it'll unlock those teeth and then you can slide it right off the pipe and it can be sometimes kind of tricky but you give it good even pressure you'll be able to do it all right so this is a good lesson <sighs> this was really tight on there <clears throat> and i couldn't get it off didn't have a lot of room around the edges. So whenever that happens to me, sometimes those teeth get really tight on there. Um, I put two of them together and I just whack it with a hammer. So you can see I whacked it a couple times there and it's pretty much there at this point. So now I can pull it off, but uh, yeah, not too bad. But if you stack them together, it makes it kind of even surface and equal pressure and then you can get it off. All right, there you have it. You can see where the teeth had grabbed on and now it's off so I can take this whole part off now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this with the emery paper here and here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it like you would uh, around your body if you're using a towel and put your arms towards the front but the towel is on your back and you just go all the way around it shimmy shimmy all the way around until that's a nice copper clean copper 
for the new shark bite to slide onto. So that's what emery paper looks like and just take off I'd say like six inches so that way you can rip it off and then use it like I said like a towel and then go all the way around then go from the top and all the way around you'll get all surfaces done. So I just finished the top one so you can see it's got you want to keep it you know parallel and then like I said pull on both sides from behind and get all the sides and it should look like a brand new pipe and the shark bite is going to go right on there it's going to be really nice. You just don't want there to be any burrs or things that are going to hurt the teeth on the shark bite piece when you slide it on. You don't want that getting damaged so I'm going to do this one next. Alright both sides are done and now I'm going to literally just push the shark bite straight get to that, it's a straight angle straight on to that until it can't go any further and same on this side and we should have a clean connection so sure enough uh, it's not gonna reach so I or I can't get around this angle to get this to go straight on so this is in the way so I'm gonna cut back I've got enough room I'm gonna cut back another probably inch off of this and that should give me enough space I've got plenty of room to get up there if I cut a little more off so I'm gonna do that right, so I cut that much off so I'm gonna do the emery paper one more time that should give me enough clearance to get around the mini split condensate line and we should be good okay not the most beautiful thing I've ever done but you know what this will get us through until next winter when somebody forgets to turn off and the rest of it blows out so there you go hopefully this was helpful thanks guys and give a sub subscribe if you guys like this video thank you so the most important part is that it's actually working. Uh, so water is on and as you can see, no water coming out of either of the connections. And just to prove that, I'll turn the water on now. And there you go. And that's not just cold, I'll go all the way to the hot for proof, because that's the hot line. So we are in business. Alright, again, hopefully this is helpful. Shoot a sub if you can. Thanks, guys.